Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to install fonts in Inkscape. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. As always I have tons of GIMP tutorials and Inkscape tutorials on here as well as GIMP and Inkscape help articles so definitely check that out. You can also support my channel and help me grow by becoming a patron on Patreon and get some awesome GIMP and Inkscape extras in return. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So the font I'm going to be downloading for this tutorial is going to be Halogen and obviously I am working on a Windows computer so this is going to be slightly different if you're using a Mac or Linux computer. But what I need to do first is download this font and this is a free font so all I have to do is scroll here to the bottom type in my first and last name on this particular website and this is pixelsurplus.com. I've used this several times for fonts. Once you've typed in your information click free download and this is going to download a zip file to any folder of your choosing so in my case I'm going to go with my downloads folder and I'm just going to keep the file name set to the default. You can see here it's a compressed zip folder and I'll click save. So that will download this font. All you have to do is click this arrow here and go to show in folder or of course you could just navigate over to your downloads folder. Once you're here you have this zip file. You do have to unzip this file first or at least I recommend doing that. So right click and come up here to extract all. And you can choose the destination where you want to extract this so I'm going to keep this in the downloads folder and click extract. So here is the extracted file and you can see we have two folders. If you're on a Mac just go with the Mac OS X folder. If you're on Windows, go with the regular Halogen folder. And you can see there are two fonts that come with this particular style. So we have Halogen by Pixel Surplus Regular and Halogen Rough by Pixel Surplus Regular. Usually what you would do with fonts, at least in GIMP, is you would double click on this and just click the install button. But in Inkscape, it's kind of weird. I think Inkscape wants you to have admin permissions. And so I'm going to exit out of here. What you have to do for Inkscape is you have to right click and go to install for all users. And in my case I already have this installed so I'll just replace it. Let me come over here to this one as well. Click install for all users. And now if I come over here to Inkscape, I have to close Inkscape out and then come over here and reopen it. And I can come over here to text and font and if this is closed out for you guys just come over here and click this little text icon. That will open it up or you could grab your text tool as well and let's just type test. So now I should be able to find those fonts and they were called halogen so I'm just going to search through my fonts here for halogen. And here they are. So we have the rough and we have the regular version. You can also come up here and type halogen or begin to type it and it should show up. If it doesn't show up for you for whatever reason, just make sure that the fonts are located on your computer. You can do that by coming over here to your search and typing in settings. And then come over here to personalization and down here to fonts and type in the name of the font that you downloaded and it should show up in here. If it doesn't show up then that's probably why it's not showing up in Inkscape. If it does show up here but not in Inkscape it probably means you did not download it or install it for all users on your computer. If you're not an admin on your computer you might struggle with this because you might not have permissions to install this for all the users on your computer. So if that's the case contact the administrator of your computer so that you can get the font installed for all users and therefore get it to show up in Inkscape. Alright so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did you could check out any of my resources in the description of the video. Don't forget to also like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified every time I have a brand new tutorial. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.